aesthetic and sexual attraction, which I will refer to as sexual for the majority of the podcast in order not to trigger any algorithms. All right. But those two are different. And the fact that they are similar, they're actually similar and they can merge into each other. But they are two different entities or they're two different types of attraction. And this was actually a question that one of my viewers asked. He said, what's the difference between aesthetic and sexual attraction? You know, if you want to shout yourself out, brother, you're more than welcome to. But and it was a great question because they can merge. They can segue into each other. But there is an illogical aspect to it at the same time especially when we're talking about how women view men it is not subjective it is object it is not excuse me it is not objective it is subjective even though even though there are certain types of men who get way more play than others this i will not deny but for the most part a woman can view a man that is otherwise deemed unattractive by society standards and she can find him essentially attractive she's getting very hot for him and i'm gonna get into this this is a Tarek talks midnight podcast sit down relax and enjoy so there is a difference between aesthetic and sexual attraction see aesthetic is when a woman sees a man, okay, because this is a man's channel, so it's going to talk, be talking more about how women view men. And she could look at him, and he could be handsome, okay? He could be a good, he could genuinely be a good-looking dude, but there is something that's just not there. And this is where personality comes in. A lot of channels debunk the myth of personality. They claim that it's just completely looks, which has a big part to do with it. I will not lie, but personality is just as well. So they find him aesthetically pleasing. They see him and he's not a bad looking guy. But there is just something about him that they don't find essentially attractive. There's something missing there. And when it comes to compatibility, this is where essentially combat compatibility comes into play. Whether it's the personality type or just his mannerisms, when she looks at him, she sees him as just that. He's just a guy. He's just a run of the mill average guy. She's going to treat him like anybody else. OK, this is where we get the friend zone because guys, contrary to popular belief, um, guys in the friend zone could actually be good looking, right? Could actually be decent looking. It's just something about him that she finds unappealing so he's kind of like the backup guy so to speak she doesn't really find him that attractive and it's really sometimes nothing that the man has any control over it's nothing that the man has any control over like let me mansplain this <laughs> okay let me mansplain it <clears throat> have you ever seen a woman that is that looks attractive right she doesn't look bad at all but there's just something about her that is not compatible. It just doesn't click with you. She does not have that sex appeal, right? She just don't have that sex appeal. And you, you know, you looking at her, she looks, she looks okay. She looks decent enough, but it's just something not there. However, there is a young lady that is somewhat less attractive so to speak she could even be a little more on 
the heavier set side. Now, this is something that I have experienced my damn self, but something she has that sex appeal, right? Whether she is wearing something, right? And of course, as men, we do look at physicality as well. You know, we're going to look at the face. Now, this is subjective, okay? We're going to see if she's cute looking, even though she has a little bit of weight on her. Even, hell, there's even times where the chick don't even really got to be cute. There's just something about her personality that is freaky to you. You know, she gives off freak vibes. And it's just something that is getting you excited, so to speak, right? It's arousing you. Now, same way with women. The guys that they find actually attractive. Now, <clears throat> I said earlier that physicality does have something to do with it. And yes, this is why me and, of course, Rom Wills, you know, godfather of the body game. They talk about we talk about getting your body right, because that is one of the most natural aphrodisiacs, if you want to call it that. <laughs> if I think of a better word. <laughs> I'll say it, but it's an it's a physical aphrodisiac, so to speak. And women, when they look at a man with a fit body, they are very aroused. Same thing with us. Even though I said we'll we'll take a chick that is slightly chunky, if she has that sex appeal, if she has that kind of freak personality and her body's right on point, then that's where that attraction comes in. You know, it could be the same thing for young ladies. If a guy has a physique that they like or they deem is, you know, or a fit physique and and <clears throat> they have that sort of sex appeal. OK, the way the guy walks, the way he has, uh, you know, kind of like a laid back demeanor. He has a laid back demeanor when you when the woman is talking to him, he's cool, he's relaxed. He throws off those vibes, right? When she's talking to him, she could tell that he's about that action, okay? He's not reserved or timid in the sense that he's not afraid to let the chick know that, and it doesn't even have to be vulgar, right? It doesn't even have to be vulgar. But he lets her know that, hey, look, I'm about that action in one way or another. He has no reserves. He'll let her know that type of thing. OK, and this is where that if she finds him attractive and then the personality part clicks to where she's like, OK, this guy is he is throwing out those type of vibes. then that's where that sexual attraction comes in. OK, that's where that type of attraction comes in. So, yes, it is confusing in the sense that I just talked about the guy's physicality and maybe his sense of style and the way he carries himself, which is an aesthetic, which is an aesthetic. This is why I said it merges. But the key ingredient is. First of all, there's two main ingredients to it. First of all, is an illogical part of the ingredient. There is an illogical part. It's like sexual attraction is quite literally illogical. Sometimes there's just nothing to really explain it. It's just something about the guy that the chick likes. Um, maybe he does have that high level of sex appeal. Maybe she does feel it coming off of him. It's something that is not that we cannot see. OK, and second is, yes, that there, there is a level of physicality and that personality. OK, there is a level of that personality and physicality, which causes that right there is a level of physicality and that personality where he's freaky and she sees it in his eyes but sometimes there's guys that are somewhat that are regular looking okay they look regular they look like a regular guy but the chick is soup is extremely attracted to him and the thing about it is he might have swag right he might have that kind of charisma type of person personality he might be cool and then on top of that he knows how to put it down in bed hey look seriously guys look seriously <laughs> a guy that is average looking but can put it down on a chick 
uh, he's going to be around. Okay. He's going to be, he's, she's going to be hitting him up. He might not look like, uh, anything spectacular. You might not look, you know, look his way twice. Like, dang, this, you know, he's an average looking dude, but the way that he has that sort of sexual aura, that vibe to him, that SU, SU vibe and the way that he puts it down in bed is what's going to SU Lee attract her. Now, the guy that's kind of on a more aesthetic side, he is more, you know, reserved, maybe, or he's just not throwing out them signs. He's kind of like a plain Jane, or in this case, a Joe Schmo. He, you know what I'm saying? He doesn't really have too much of that sex appeal going on. Okay, even though he's facially aesthetic. So... That's pretty much the difference. I know it was kind of confusing, <laughs> but I hope you guys got what I was trying to say. That being said, I'm out. Peace.